New at 10, bad behavior by a few, and Baraboo has the school district there implementing stricter rules for spectators. News 3's Danica Lewis digs into the new code of conduct for us tonight. Just as sports seasons start, Baraboo School District is sending a clear message to parents. If you want to watch from the sidelines, you're going to be held to higher standards of sportsmanship. Standards that not everyone agrees with. Don't miss very many. As her son protects the net for Baraboo's JV squad, Laura Bennett just wants to do the same for her kids. You're not calling things and you're letting it get out of hand because people get hurt and that's when the parents get upset. The district is cracking down on unruly fans, having parents pledge to keep their cool while watching. I don't think it's necessary to sign a code per se of this level for that. That new code of conduct requires things like no coaching from the bleachers and giving players some space after the games. It's not the way to handle things. That's not the way things are in life. So that's not the way to resolve things. It has to be a better way than that. Are people going to get thrown out for booing? You know, most likely not. Jim Langkamp runs Baraboo's athletic program and says while it's now in writing, most off the field have already been abiding by the new rules. We want people to come and have a good time. We want them to be loud and excited and energetic and, and really feed our students with positive energy. But for a mom who put her kids on the field to learn about life, Bennett says the rules are far from reality. That's not resolving the conflict, that's just punishing everybody basically and then making no one be accountable because you're not allowed to say anything. Everything you do is going to it reflects more than just you. It reflects on our school and our community. The 10 new rules in this code of conduct will be in the programs for parents to take a look. The first home game for the Baraboo football team on September 4th. For WISC News 3, I'm Danica Lewis.